Hi, this is Karate Coach's tip number two. The tip is to have props or equipment just to make the class a little more interesting and exciting. I'm going to show you around and show you some of the equipment and some of the props that we use in our classes to make things more fun and exciting. If you don't have these things, that's okay. Uh, you can substitute them with different easy to find things at home. So here we go. Let me take you on a little tour of the dojo. Whoops. <laughs> we have heavy bags for the students to kick and to punch. So you might not have that at home. You may. Uh, if you don't, you could always take a duffel bag and fill it full of laundry or pillows or something soft. And then you could have the students punch that. We have a balance beam. What could you use for a balance beam? A lot of different things. We have, a, I'm actually going to show you a couple of the different, whoa, balance beams that we have. We have one that I made out of a piece of wood, and I just put some extra mats on top of it. I had some extra mat in that I put on top. So it's just a long, a long board. And it works as a balance beam. So if you have a piece of wood, you could use that. Just make sure it doesn't have splinters. I also have some other extra pieces of mat that I kind of just tape together. And these come in handy for a lot of different things. Uh, sometimes I use them as a balance beam too. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll have the kids kind of jump over them, like back and forth. Or maybe do some different, different footwork or something where they're just kind of bouncing around, kind of bouncing around. So those come in handy as well. And basically, that's just a line. You could use a piece of tape on the ground uh, for that as well. You could use your belt. We have cones. So you can make an obstacle course and ha have your kids run through it. If you don't have cones, that's OK. What can you use for cones? Maybe some paper cups. Um, a piece of clothing, more cones, again just about anything that you could put on the ground would work as a cone. We have some rings, kind of working on our agility, stepping in, stepping out good obstacles. We have these kick paddles. We use these quite a bit. If you don't have a kick paddle at home, that's okay. You could just use some, anything that they could kick uh, that wouldn't injure you. A good example of this could be just a simple piece of paper. You could hold out a piece of paper and it gives them a target to kick. I'll show you that in just a second. So I have a piece of paper right here. It's just your average piece of paper. You hold that out in front of them. Make sure your hand is not in the way where it's going to get kicked. And they just have to hit the piece of paper now. Very simple. Uh, we also, one of the things that we use quite a bit is a noodle. 
you can do some some of the different games we play, like Dodge That Noodle, where we're having them jump, duck, and dodge. And then another game that we play is called Block That Noodle, where we swing the noodle and they have to block it. Very easy to come by. If you don't have a noodle, um, I would recommend maybe a you have some wrapping paper. And usually a wrapping paper, you can just grab the whole wrapping paper and use that. Uh, usually it comes in a long cardboard tube, and that'll work really good too as well. You don't want to do something like that would hurt them, like a baseball bat or something that's hard that would, would hurt them when they, if they get hit by it. We have long noodles too. Um, I recommend having it, if you, if you have a long one, just cutting it in half because it's a, usually a little straighter and a little more stable if you do that. We have some different bags that you hold and students can kick these and punch them. And you might, again, not have that at home, but you might have a pillow that you could hold for them or a um, couch cushion. So there's a lot of ways to get creative and you can still be a good coach on a budget or use things that happen to be on hand. We were talking about the piece of paper. There's a lot of things you can do with a piece of paper. Um, you could also just crumple it up into a ball and throw it at them and see if they're able to kick it <laughs> or punch it. So that's today's coach's tip. Tip number two, have some props to make your training a little more fun and a little more exciting.